da -da -da -da, to do a thing. I'm pretty excited to do this thing. I've been wanting to do this thing for quite some time and now I'm finally doing it. The thing is these babies. Finally going to get an upper lip. Come along with me! The skin around your lips takes a little longer, but I'm so excited and kind of nervous at the same time. You never had lip filler? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> the product I'm going to use today um, doesn't swell as much some of the other products, which is kind of amazing because there's very little downtime. Bruising wise, it kind of depends on you and your injector just as far as like um if you get poked a bunch of times you're gonna bruise more i try to poke you the least amount of times that we can um just to not damage the tissue in your lips and then um also you know some people just bruise easier than others but if some people just like take ibuprofen every day you're gonna bruise more with that you're gonna bruise more with like alcohol if you drink a lot of green tea um but we're going to try and make you bruise very, very little and swell very low. This particular product, um, I'm going to use Versa. It doesn't swell very much at all, all right. which is awesome. I feel like I'm drooling on myself and opening my mouth wider. Am I really? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> She's not. No. Um, just try not to get it on your tongue. Okay. I mean, you can get it on your tongue. It just will feel like even weirder <laughs> when your tongue is numb. So... Just kind of let it sit there, but yeah, it'll feel weird. But this stuff does a pretty good job of numbing. Um, people have really minimal pain, and like I do not tolerate pain very well. And, mm -hmm. and for me, I'm, I'm or needles. needles. I don't did tolerate it. No, needles for very well. No, honestly, even working in the ER, <laughs> I still don't do very well with you know people poking me or prodding you know with needles. And I, it, it's not bad with the numbing cream. So, <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty, pretty numb. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the lips are feeling well, numb in like less than a minute, but we're gonna let it sit there while we do some consent forms. Yeah, perfect. That way I don't hopefully feel nothing. It's like yeah. a epidural, so, but for <laughs> for your lips, for beauty. <laughs> All right. So we'll do. Um, And um, are you on any medicines? No medicine. Surgeries? No, ma'am. Got my tongue starting up, but the tip where I got it is like. Uh, I know. <laughs> Hey guys and girls. I mean, that was everyone. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey guys, so I just got my lips plumped by Dr. Lilia in Houston, Texas at Made Beauty and Medi Spa. So come by, and see me, see get her. your lips nice and juicy. <laughs> we also do other procedures, so give us give us a call, message us on Instagram, let us know. Hey everybody, what is up? Today is 24 hours after my fillers were put in. 
<laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on how I'm feeling today. And I have to say my lips, the swelling has, I guess, gone down some. I don't know, what do you think? I am still a little sore. Um, which is like right in here. I guess that's because where like most of my bruising is. You know what? They say that you can put Listerine on that or on bruises to help them heal or help them along or something. So I think I will try that and see how that goes. And it feels a little tight right here. But eating today has been a little bit easier. I'm not experiencing any itching, but like I said, it feels tight up in here, I guess maybe because I'm not used to it. I find it difficult to drink. For me, eating is as well, but not as much as drinking. Drinking from like a cup or a straw or a bottle, it's all quite difficult. So I look really awkward and strange in public, and since we're still out of town, you know, all of it's in public, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awkward eating and drinking in public right now, but I keep telling myself this is not gonna last It's only gonna be a couple days, you know, hopefully I'm hoping it's only gonna be an awkward couple first days So I just kind of wanted to update you guys 24 hours after the fact. This is how it looks I am still super 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 excited and I'm kind of obsessed with them. I think tomorrow I will try to actually put some lipstick on. I've been putting chapstick on all day because I feel like my lips are really dry and I don't know if that really has anything to do with it or not, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm still really excited and loving them. I will check in tomorrow and let you guys see how I'm doing tomorrow, if you know how things are going. So, I will see you in the a.m. Well, not in the a.m. During the day. I want to give it some time to kind of like, you know, the bruising will go away, hopefully. I bruised easy, so I was kind of expecting all that. <laughs> Anyways, see y'all tomorrow. So, day three. I was supposed to do a day two, but things just got a little crazy and a little bit too busy. I still have a little bit of bruising. Most of my swelling has gone down. My lips got dried out really bad earlier. Like they were kept cracking and I don't know, it was really bad. And finally they like, just, I moisturized them really good and peeled all of it off. It was really gross. This is what they look like now. I'm still really obsessed. They look really good. I'm still super happy with them. And by the way, I did try the Listerine. I don't know if it, it was an actual like Listerine. I didn't have Listerine with me, but it was like another blue mouthwash. I'm not sure which one it was. It was just in the travel bag from when we were traveling. I don't know if it really helped with the bruising, but it definitely did not hurt to try. I mean, I still, like I said, I still have, like, the bruising, so, I don't know. Do you think it worked? Not really sure. <laughs> Anyways, please excuse this, uh, knotted nappy mess on my head and the face. This is a normal everyday mom face. <laughs> hey everybody, day four. Here we are. Sorry, so my lipstick has come off been eating some pizza for eating pizza and only that much coming off I would say not bad but this is not about my lipstick this is about the lips so <laughs> everything is just about back to normal I feel just about back to normal except that I have like I don't want to say that it feels swollen it didn't feel swollen it just feels like 
something's there. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to describe that part of it. But um, this part feels fine now. Um, I'm drinking less awkwardly. I'm eating a lot less awkwardly. So, I mean, things are just about back to normal, which is awesome. And then with my lipstick off, it looks pretty close to this. I mean, it looks, it looks so good. <laughs> I mean, I know I keep saying that and I keep saying I'm obsessed with it, but I mean, I have no other words. Like, Dr. Lilia did so good. I'm just... I'm so happy because this is what I wanted. I didn't want too much volume. I just wanted to enhance it a little bit more. I didn't want Kylie Jenner lips. I wanted, you know, like I said, just a little bit more volume in the top and then a little bit on the bottom to match. So, I mean, I got exactly what I asked for. And I really couldn't be happier. So, thank you so much again, Dr. Lilia. You did a fabulous job and I'm super happy with it <laughs> if you can't tell I mean I've always said that a million and two times and I just decided that doing a day four since I had a full face of makeup on I don't know I just felt like you want to see it with makeup on <laughs> I mean I could be wrong but I mean I think I think people would I would want to see it with a full face done just kind of see how it looks so anyways that's it. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys later. What's up, guys? It has officially been a week since I had my lips done. So we've been at the pool all day. I'm a little pink please excuse all this but I specifically did not want to wear any makeup today because I wanted my lips to be clear so you could kind of see what they actually look like so I am super happy with my results but what I have noticed is that I do have these little lumps now and I think she said all I gotta do is just massage and massage them out um, so I've been trying to do that and you can't even see them it's just if you touch and feel you can feel it I would say it was pretty pain-free for me and I'm I don't have a high pain tolerance as you saw at the beginning it was pretty painless because she numbed my lips and for you know people who are even more nervous about like that not actually working she can actually go up there and give you the shot that numbs everything even more so so you won't feel a thing anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video thank you Dr. Lilia so much for my lips again you did a wonderful job I'm very happy with them and I do have to say if you are thinking about going to get your lips done I went and had Versa, and I was thinking I wanted Judiferderm, but for my first time, I think this was perfect. Like, this was perfect. So go see Dr. Lilia at Made Beauty Medi Spa, and go get your lips done if you're in Houston. If not, make the trip, because I did, and uh, <laughs> loving my results over here. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to notify you when I post next. Also, like this video, please. That would mean so much. Helps me grow. Um, what else? What else am I missing? <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye, my friends.